driving jobs in Qatar, a few things that you should know. Welcome to this mix, Creation TV, giving you all updates, jobs and everything in between. When we talk about Qatar, it's one of the countries that most people have enjoyed to their maximum. If you get an opportunity, it's a good country to stay with its weather and all its security. When we talk about driving in Qatar, remember, motorists in Qatar drive on what we call the right-hand side of the road, similar to the US roads. Almost all roads are well maintained. Traffic lights and roundabouts are common throughout Qatar. Traffic signs are mostly in English and Arabic. Speed limits, signs are everywhere and should be followed strictly. Most city roads generally have a speed limit of between 60 to 100 kilometers. By the way, the question is that, is it per hour? Yes. The answer is between 60 to 100 kilometers per hour, which may not be the case to, from the countries we are coming from. So meaning that as you are driving, you literally need to be very careful to follow the signs and to follow or not even to violate what you call the traffic loads in one way or the other. The maximum speed on highways is about 120 kilometers per hour, which must be must equally be the double of most of the speeds we have in Africa, which is something that definitely you should know. By the way, the other question is, who is entitled to drive? Is everyone entitled to drive? The question and the answer is very simple, no. If that was the case, then everyone would be owning the car because it would be the easiest thing to own. But what about the intensity of the accidents or how to control the population? I think this is first of the thing that the Qatar government try to do, to try to limit. Because most of people that come to these countries definitely are good drivers from their country but which may not be the case for you to have a driving license. You either need to have what you call a recommendation or you need to have that GCC driving license. Remember when we are talking about the GCC driving license, we are looking at countries like Saudi Arabia, Oman, Kuwait, uh, UAE, Dubai. You are allowed to drive in this country for three months without any touch. If you have what you call a GCC license, then after you can exit the country. On highways, the truck on the left is normally used by high speeding vehicles and on the right is used by slow vehicles. Driving too slow on highways can also attract fines. That is what normally have to see. Something else that you need to understand or you need to know, traffic radars and cameras are installed in regular intervals especially on highways, growth police officers may also observe traffic at roundabouts and on highway. So meaning that you should also be very careful and cautious of that not falling in what you call trouble. First and foremost, for driving in Qatar is a legal requirement to hold a valid driving license. And if you're caught without a valid driving license, then it is subject to a fine or even jail. Car owners must also register their vehicle and renew registration annually. For renewing the registration card, known as Ismara, cars holders older than three years should undergo what you call technical inspection, called fast testing. In addition, the car insurance should be renewed every year before renewing what you call the registration period. Why is trying to avoid the accidents that may happen in the other absolute way? Seat belts are mandatory for all passengers, and children under 12 are not allowed to sit in the front seat. Using mobile phone while driving is against the law, and once you are caught, then you have to serve it right, either with a penalty or with ban with the license, or even giving you a, uh, a charge that you may be payable according to what is being decided. Something also you need to understand is 
make sure not to drive under the influence of alcohol or drugs because it is never is not acceptable in any way. By the way, are you looking for a driving job in Qatar? Do you qualify? What are some of the qualifications that you need to understand? Yes. Are you from the GCC or are you a GCC resident? Yes. Or citizen from any of those countries that belong to the GCC? Yes. You can drive. You can apply for the driving license. Are you from exclusive European countries that do not need a law to go under road test? Yes. You are allowed to drive. Also something that I need also to remind you or something that you need to understand is the professions. Driving in Qatar is categorized under different professions and each profession is given either requirement to apply for driving license or not. It will depend on how much you earn and what kind of role you have. To some extent, you may be earning more but your role does not entice you to have what you call a driving license. That is also another situation that you can know or you should know in one way or the other. So as you are preparing to come to this country and to apply for a driving license, I think most of those things should also be put in consideration. And you should also know that there should be what you call road testing. That you should know the nature of the roads that you are going to drive to, especially. Especially, for example, only for people who are coming from Africa, you know which kind of rights or uh, the sites that you drive for, which may not be the same. Remember, these roads are so wide at a kilometer, I told, and they use very many, many users. And radars and cameras are all over the roads that you need to understand. Let's take through, move around the city, and you try to see how are the kind of nature of the roads look like and how do cars tentatively tend to move in speeding and how what is the nature of the roads as they talk about by the way if it's your first time to come across this channel don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it will be the only way that you will be updated when i upload a new video remember it's makes from the next creation giving you all the updates for people who are planning to come to Qatar, remember this expo 20 23 Doha, which will have an influx of people coming to the country, meaning there will be very great opportunities like driving, like the same opportunities we had in the World Cup. For people who skipped those opportunities or who scooped those opportunities, we are so lucky and earned from this. For those that do not value or did not get the scoop of that, it was unlucky on that day. But it does not mean that that is the end of it all. You have to keep on trying. And every single day, you keep on trying and moving. You never know. Tomorrow is going to be a very beautiful day for you. Let us look at the roads as we try to wind up and try to close up the driving. What you should know, what exactly should say, and what do you expect is the speed or what exactly, how are you supposed to drive within what you call the lanes or uh, about or within the lanes. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Uh, it makes from the next creation. Let's continue as we try to see how the roads still look. See you again in the next video.